straight leg RDL differs from a standard RDL just by way of knee bend. So my standard RDL is here. Essentially, this just gives you a little more buffer, a little more breathing room in terms of your knee and hip position. So it can be slightly uncomfortable sometimes. It could be an absolute lockout, but this is going to simulate when we're in those back extensions going through that range of motion and your leg stays absolutely locked out the whole time. So if you're at home and you're trying this without a back extension, this is our greatest ability to replicate that. So as I go, I push my hips back, my hammies get long, my back stays flat. I don't want to turn this into a J curl. It's not like that would be counterproductive, but I want to specifically lever into my glutes, my hammies, Oh, I've got a marvelous long stretch. I can feel this all the way down to the calf. This is going to feel very reminiscent of what is available to us on that back extension. And it doesn't take much. I can feel a tremendous stimulus with just 15 pounds. And if I took my time, pushed my hips back, got long, and then came through and squeezed, and nailed all 20 reps that way, or 12 reps, or whatever's in front of you, you're going to have a pretty cooking stimulus. If you do have the ability to come into the gym and use the hip extension, these are essentially interchangeable for the purposes of what we're doing at present moment. But for now, try to keep those legs locked out. Nice long hammies and crank away with some lighter weights.